welcome again so my package just now arrived and this time i made a purchase of one of the most detailed and descriptive book about modern times which surprisingly isn't talked much about in the youtube after reading three books on modern empire it is safe to say that this book will provide you with a larger picture of how things were functioning during those times the book is called age of nandas and mauryas written by mr k a neelkant sastri and published by motilal banarsi das As the name suggests, the book also describes the Nanda rule, plus a great deal of information on Alexander's conquest is also provided. Further, the book also talks about the succession of rule and politics in Mauryan era, which we are going to discuss later in the video. For now, let's start with the unboxing. At first you'll see that this book has a glossy finish and it's quite well maintained and delivered in good condition. I was nearly impressed with the condition until I saw this here. As you can see uh, the spine of the book is a little damaged and man these e-commerce websites uh, knows nothing when it comes to delivering a book properly. I mean they started from delivering books how can they forget that well if you don't want to be disappointed like this a free ebook is available in the indian government website if you want to go with that medium link is in the description now let's talk about the author kalidai kuruchi ayya neelkanth sastri also known as k a neelkanth sastri was an indian historian who wrote majorly on south indian history in his career spanning over 54 years he worked as a lecturer professor principal and took various other roles in the major universities of the country including banaras hindu university annamala university and many more the man is a legend and has gained such an expertise in his field that he was bestowed with india's third highest civilian honor of padma bhushan in all he authored 25 historical works mostly on the history of south india However fame comes with a price as he also had his fair share of critiques and for this I'll be dropping a wikipedia link in the video's description so that you can learn in great detail about the criticism he faced and at the same time I want you all to comment about what you think and participate in discussing about his legacy with me and with others in the comment section do read about it because I want you all to see whether you Uh, i want to see whether you learn anything from this video or not <laughs> further if you look into the table of contents in this book you'll find that it's not wholly written by sastri ji here let me show you the pictures as you can see there are various other authors who have doctors or professors embedded in front of their names who are responsible for uh, certain chapters in the book for knowledge purpose i will provide information on each of them in video's description box do check that out talking about the book it is quite fascinating to see the research that went behind in making this book unlike other books it is not entirely focused on mauryans and their style of governance but it also discusses in great detail about nandas inclusion of foreign culture in mainstream indian culture through greek conquest coinage succession in mauryas and life of its emperors from chandragupta to the last emperor the book doesn't stops here and also discusses about the commerce religion language art literature and of course the politics in modern times after reading arthashastra which was entirely focused on rules laws and dharma of each and every individual residing within the empire you can correlate with the content of this book where you can figure uh, figure out the excerpts and the references from arthashastra which were smartly used to gather more information and was compiled together in order to enhance the reading experience and the knowledge of the readers now for the pricing i purchased this book from amazon which costed me around 275 rupees of course i went for the paperback edition as it saved me around 700 bucks in flipkart though the same book uh, the same paperback edition of this book will cost you around 595 rupees 
thus uh, purchasing from the flipkart is out of question i'll be dropping the amazon purchase link in the description do check that out so this is my fourth book on morians and i don't think that this is going to be my last uh, it has been very interesting for me to review the different versions of morian times as depicted by different personalities of ancient and modern indian history in their books uh, it is safe to say that this book is by far the most detailed version of text available on morians and uh, after this the kind of books that are left for me to re- to be read have a limited scope of knowledge Uh, the level of research that went behind in the making of this book plus the scholarly value that it carries makes this book more special since the uh, since this book is authored by accomplished historians it is safe to say or assume that they have covered the data from each and every material available on morias my reason for this purchase was the study on additional topics that this book offers Before this I have read Arthashastra which to an extent deals with the polity trade commerce and religion in modern era but this book on top of it talks in great length about Alexander's conquest foreign influence in the empire emperors of modern times modern rule in the south including their ties with Ceylon that is uh, modern day Sri Lanka language literature and finally modern art Even though this book talks about Nandas only limited chapters are dedicated on that study which i guess is fair because my focus right now is on Moryas my reading approach for this book will be a chapter wise go through i personally believe that the idea behind making of this book is purely academic especially uh, for the students who are learning history in co- in colleges indian history in colleges but that doesn't change the fact that this book offers a very important analysis on morians and as a history enthusiast it should be in your bucket list so this wraps my review on age of nandas and morias thank you for watching and i'll see you again next time